I was thinking like if I die, like I'm gonna die like trying, you know, like I'm gonna die fighting. In a shocking surveillance video, an assailant is seen climbing into a roadside coffee hut. He lunges at a young bikini barista during her shift, threatening her with a knife. And he was just like, no, you're coming with me or I'm gonna kill you. And then he kept telling me, he was like, I will kill you. The footage captures the assailant forcing the barista to climb out of the window before dragging her to a nearby alley. And this was seriously the longest four minutes of my life. Like just walking down that little dark alley and not really being able to see anything. Fortunately, the barista was strong enough to stall the attack. And he was choking me like, I knew to just like tense up and put my shoulders up. During the struggle, the assailant dropped his knife. While I'm being choked, I'm waving my arms up and down because I'm looking for the knife. In my head, I'm just thinking to myself, be prepared, like this could get really ugly. Try and stall so that someone, pull, like if someone pulls up, they can help me. The ordeal ended when a car pulled up scaring him off before he could carry out the attack. This terrifying incident has sparked concerns about the safety of baristas who wear skimpy swimsuits or lingerie as part of their job to attract customers to their often isolated coffee huts. They're, you know, controlling those spots by themselves at early hours in the morning when it's dark outside. The victim, who has chosen to go public with her story, has been a bikini barista for nine years. He didn't expect me to be as strong as I am. Don't work out just because you wanna be skinny or like fit into that bikini. Work out to be strong so that you can fight back. These so-called bikini barista shops are becoming increasingly popular. Many of the baristas are college students trying to pay off tuition, and some reportedly earn as much as $100,000 a year in tips alone. The majority of men that pull up are kind, respectful, normal people. It's not the first time a dangerous incident has occurred at a drive through coffee stand, leaving many feeling concerned for their own safety. Now baristas across the country are taking extra precautions. I have a hammer under the counter. In this particular business where women are alone, they are extra vulnerable, you need it. We are equipped with a lot of cameras um, for that reason, for safety. We have pepper spray in the shops, we have a panic button. Um, in here as well. This particular ordeal has led to questions about the safety of those working in this industry. The video clearly shows the perpetrator sliding open an unlocked window to gain entry. There's not a lot protecting her here. There's not even any type of system in place to lock the window, that they leave the window unlocked as they're making the coffee. The suspect, who has since been arrested, was found to have recently been released from prison after serving 10 years for burglary and robbery.